Well, here we are in beautiful western Washington. It's spring. Time to get some wood cut. All this uh, wood was knocked down over at the railroad. They have an access road and the uh, alder kind of grew up too close to their trail. So they just pushed it over with a caterpillar. And I've been going down uh, the last two years picking it up. But I made me a lazy dog here because I am kind of a lazy dog and that's meant to pick up the log so I don't have to I'll put this down so you can see what's going on here so I don't have to bend my back to cut that wood. So you can see that there, what that is. I think I'll make two or three of those. And you can see it's made out of uh, scrap lumber that I had from the old woodshed. And you know what? If you can't use old stuff, you gotta burn it. And since uh, all last fall, there was a burn ban on, none of it got burnt, so we'll use it. I have one already we'll just fast forward through all this at a 90 degree angle to each other. Well, I have to tell you, on the other one, I took out a bunch of nails, so I used rusty nails on it.
too critical how far apart you get them. Almost done. You'll notice I didn't use a square or a level because the ground around here, it ain't square and it sure as heck ain't level. Now the only thing I have yet to make is a little piece that will stop the log from dropping all the way down inside. That'll keep it up a little higher so I don't have to bend down so much to cut. I have me one fine ugly stick. Go ahead and cut that off. No, put that right in there. Beautiful. And you've noticed I've only put one screw in each of these uh, supporting sections. made just like that. That didn't take long, did it? You see one's a little bit longer than the other. It make any difference. They're the same height. That don't make any difference. The piece on the end makes into a T so it lays flat when uh, it's laid down on its end and doesn't want to tip over. And I have never tried this before. I don't know why I should put one the opposite direction, but I think I have to move the camera. I don't want to run into the stand. So let's get the chainsaw out and see how well that works.
So tell me what you think. I think I will put a uh, 45 degree down to that lower piece there. Just so if it does have a heavy log on it, it will support it a little bit better. And I'll put that on this side. But other than that, I think this is going to work just with two of them. And like I say, it's all scrap wood from the old woodshed. And what better way to cut wood than with the old woodshed?